with iOS 18 soon to be released at the end of this year, I thought it would be a good time to jump into the current developer beta and show you every new feature that iOS 18 brings to Apple CarPlay. So let's jump in the car and see everything that I've spotted that's new in CarPlay in iOS 18 beta 3. So off the bat, it feels like deja vu all over again when launching CarPlay in iOS 18 when comparing it against Apple's current iOS 17.5.1. Apple hasn't visually altered CarPlay too much in iOS 18. And after two years since it was last announced, the next generation of CarPlay is still waiting for many car brands to adopt. But we have seen Apple step a little bit forward with this, and I'll go into this further a little later in this video. So when you load up CarPlay in iOS 18, the first striking change you'll notice is that the side dock home button has changed. The home button now resembles the physical home button from past iPhones and toggling the home button switches the icon over to a small grid of apps icon. The rest of the home screen and dashboard screen haven't had any updates as yet. However, when you ask Siri for the weather or ask it for recent team scores, you now see a new overlay pop up that displays a much richer overview of the weather and a digestible glance view of any sports scores on your CarPlay screen. Receiving a text message will now also display a contacts profile pic alongside their name in the message pop-up. And while diving into the CarPlay messages app, you'll see that there's now a profile pic alongside the contacts name. If a contact doesn't have an image assigned to it, a generic avatar icon will be used, or if they do have a full name, their initials will be displayed in this area as well. In iOS 18, you can now launch the camera app and record video without the audio stopping in CarPlay. This is a welcome feature for anyone wishing to record video while CarPlay audio playback is active. Apple Maps has also had a few graphical and UI changes. Each place of interest icon now has a white outline along with a gradient. So in iOS 18, they look a little bit less cleaner and sharper overall. The maps themselves are a little darker in color and houses and buildings are also pronounced a little bit darker too. The biggest update in iOS 18 for Apple CarPlay are in the settings app. There is a small update for the Siri and suggestions icon, which now marks a new identity for Apple's upcoming AI driven assistant. And alongside this are two new high level settings options, silent mode and accessibility. In silent mode, you now have the option to make CarPlay automatically turn your iPhone silent mode on or off while CarPlay is active. This option is a simple and quick way to silence system sounds and alerts from apps whilst connected to CarPlay. The biggest update in iOS 18 for Apple CarPlay is accessibility. This area offers a number of enhancements in CarPlay for visual, hearing, and motor impaired users. The first option addresses visual impairments. From here, you can apply color filters to the whole CarPlay user interface. Turning this feature on allows the entire CarPlay interface to display in either grayscale for a more monochrome vintage look. There is a red green filter, a green red filter, and finally a blue yellow filter. Each of these filters can also have up to three levels of intensity set to make CarPlay's visual interface more accessible. Another vision based accessibility option is to bold text in the CarPlay UI. This also might be a feature that any users might switch on themselves as it does make the CarPlay experience a little bit stronger and easier to read whilst on the move. Almost all text elements are affected with this option turned on. There is a new option in iOS 18 to control CarPlay with your voice for people with physical or motor impairment. Once enabled, you can simply navigate CarPlay by saying commands such as open maps, go home, open Spotify, tap play, press pause, and by saying tap or press alongside any other button that you can visibly see on screen. People with hearing impairments are also covered in CarPlay in iOS 18, where you can receive on-screen alerts when car horns and sirens are detected from your iPhone's microphone. I couldn't get this feature to work in CarPlay personally when playing back sound effects from another phone. However, they did trigger on the same phone, so I do wonder if it might be an issue with my iPhone 13 Pro not being compatible. It might also be region specific, or that the phone might need to be in motion to avoid false triggers. Speaking of motion, there is a new vehicle motion cue feature in iOS 18 that is meant to tackle motion sickness whilst browsing the iPhone in a moving vehicle. The feature involves a series of small and large black and white dots that covers the entire iPhone screen, and these dots slide in the opposite direction to the motion that it detects. This feature can also be toggled from the control center, and it's meant to appear when vehicle movement is detected. 
The public beta of iOS 18 is meant to release in this month of July, usually later in the month once developers reach beta 4. At that point, beta users might start to see the new iOS 18 wallpapers in CarPlay, but for now, there haven't been any additional wallpapers in iOS 18 yet. But at least one or two new wallpapers are to be expected. Apple's Siri Assistant is also due an update in iOS 18, along with the addition of Apple Intelligence, Apple's flurry into AI support on the iPhone. Whether we will see Apple's AI trickle down into CarPlay remains unknown, especially when support in the EU remains uncertain, or at least be delayed after its release in the US. But CarPlay users should at least see the new surrounding Siri trigger animation that mirrors how it looks on the iPhone. This should make Siri less obstructive on screen, whilst being activated in CarPlay. It would also nice to see Apple carry over its new customizable app icons feature in CarPlay to enable further customization. Apple could simply just copy the customization settings from your iPhone and apply it immediately within CarPlay, whilst giving the option to enable it in the CarPlay settings app. I do still think and hope that we will also see the weather app take more prominent feature within the existing CarPlay user interface. Looking over Apple's WWDC CarPlay sessions for iOS 18, I noticed a few times where the weather is persistently displayed on the top status bar of all the main central CarPlay display screens in their examples. What's also being displayed in the screens that contain their new instrument cluster. There's also a weather widget panel shown on more wider displays. So I do hope this feature is being captured from your location and the built-in weather app rather than being taken from the outside temperature from your vehicle's own data. If so, this means it will also come to existing CarPlay displays too. It has now been over two years since we were first shown the next generation of Apple CarPlay. This year, Apple took a step forward in showing a little more of it in two CarPlay developer sessions. Its new instrument cluster framework is now present in iOS 18 for brands and developers to play around with. However, the wait is still going to be long before we see brands consider and release new car models that accept it. Back in December 2023, only Aston Martin and Porsche were publicly sharing images on how they plan on bringing the next generation of CarPlay to their upcoming vehicles. But many interested brands that were shared by Apple in its first introduction have yet to show theirs. Hopefully by the end of the year, we will see a few new vehicle announcements that integrate Apple's next-gen CarPlay. Until then, I discovered the team at Black Box Infinite has already been busy designing some iconic instrument cluster designs using Apple's next generation CarPlay framework for iOS 18. They've created some great looking designs that are faithful to the original instrument clusters found in cars made in the 70s, such as the Porsche 911 Turbo, to the 80s with the DeLorean, the Lancia Delta Integrale, the Ferrari Testarossa and the Chevrolet Corvette C4. Even the iconic instrument cluster from the Honda S2000 has also been closely replicated by the team using the Apple's instrument cluster framework. Looking at these designs shows Apple has offered plenty of customization within the instrument cluster design alone, from fonts, line weights, dial types, and much more. And that's before we see what car brand UI designers can do with other available areas of the car's infotainment screens. iOS 18 will release sometime in the fall, around September or October time, aligned with the release of Apple's iPhone 16 suite of phones. iOS 18 will no doubt bring some exciting times for Apple CarPlay, in newer vehicles over the next 12 months. So if you're interested in getting the next generation of CarPlay in your car, you best start saving. So that's a good look over iOS 18 for Apple CarPlay and also what's to come in the next generation of Apple's infotainment platform. I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, give us a like and let me know in the comments what you think of iOS 18 and what new features you would like to see come to the next generation of CarPlay. As always, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye. Thank you.